Hey, can I have your attention, please? I just got to tell you, you better bow down on your knee. Lord, on his way back, look at what's going on in the world today. You better bow down, hear what I say. Lord, I come to you with a humble heart. Lord, I need you to go like a mighty Russian wind and heal those lost, hurting, suffering from the coronavirus. Lord, only you can do it. Only you knew it. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to place at the Lord's feet all my animosity, all the cares of the world. Oh, yeah. Lord, Lord, be with those going through mental illness, bipolar, schizophrenia, dementia. Let me mention, God is over and beyond our comprehension. Oh, Lord, heal those addicted to drugs, meth, opioid, prescription drugs. Lord, I need you to go quick, fast, in a hurry. The coronavirus is taking over. But let me tell you something, beloved. As long as you with him and you depend, he won't never leave or forsake you. Oh, yeah. Lord, bless the babies. Lord, be with the little one. Ah, yeah. Lord, be with those smoking cigarettes. Lord, they delirious. Lord, be with those drinking alcohol. Lord, make them not fall so hard off the ball. Oh, Lord, gambling. Lord, be with those spending all their money, ain't got no clothes. Lord, be with those. COPD, make their lungs the way they used to be. Lord, I pray for sick or sale. Lord, make them well. Lord, I pray that you heal those suffering arthritis, osteoporosis. Lord, liver cirrhosis. I pray that you be with those that don't know and the ones that do. Lord, let them see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Welcome. Five minutes or more with King California. Oh, yeah. When blessings go up, blessings come down. Prayer go up. Blessings come all the way around, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, oh yeah. Here we go. The word for you today. Faith. Uh, I'm talking about faith. Faith without works is dead. Hear what I said? I said faith without works is dead. I looked it up. That's what the Bible said. It say, in order for faith to work, you got to work. Do work, do work. You got to work for faith to work, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let's define the word faith more clearly. The Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1 1. Faith isn't empty hope or simply a positive confession of something we want to be true. Faith is recognizing some things that's already a reality despite the fact that it can't be seen. The Bible says Abraham believed God who caused those things which do not exist as though they did. Romans 4.17 Based on this verse, some people think that whatever they want, they can simply speak it into existence. Read the verse again. Abraham didn't speak Isaac into existence. God did. Abraham simply believed God acted on his promise. 
And as a result, Isaac was born. Not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb, womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Your faith must be in God, not in your faith in and of itself. Faith has no creative power. It just affirms what already exists in the unseen world and in what God has promised, knowing that in his time it will come to pass because it's his will. Whatever you claim by faith must be based on what God has clearly promised you in his word. And how do you develop that kind of faith? Read the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it going right now. Your Bible, you got to read your Bible. That's your survival. Oh, yeah. I like Proverbs, the word, wisdom. I love it, beloved. You should love it too. Read the Bible. This is what's going to guide you. B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before living eternally. Oh, yeah. Read your Bible. That's your survival. Read your Bible. That's your survival. Uh -huh. Come on. Your Bible. Your Bible. You should read your Bible. That's your survival. Your Bible. You should read your Bible. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh huh. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Here's the list. Numbers. Do the right of me. Can you feel the beat? Will you follow me? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I said Joshua, Judges and Ruth, Samuel's 1 and 2, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. Ezra, huh. Nehemiah, let's take it higher. Uh, I said, your Bible, your Bible, you should read your Bible. That's your survival, your Bible. Basic instruction before living eternally. Would you know he, him? Oh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah.